Introduction. Babylon, Babylon want me now. <laughs> Celestia, the now rich. Ow. Hi lovely people, welcome back to another video and thank you so much for tuning in. As you guys can see in the title and thumbnail, I'm going to talk about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The documentary that they did which erupted a lot, a lot of talk. It's something that I've been following a little bit, um, so I've had quite a few things of my own opinion to say about it. Um, so I thought why not share, why not do a video about it. I briefly touched on it in my last video um but i'm gonna dive in a little bit more i've been on twitter so i thought you know let's talk about it let's do a video if you don't follow me on my social media please follow me on my twitter instagram facebook wherever you know you are more, more where? <laughs> wherever you are more active please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my content and obviously comment below if you've got anything interesting to say so if you don't know, Meghan and Harry did a documentary called An African Journey and they went to South Africa um, and you know just carried on the work that they normally do. Like I said it erupted a lot a lot a lot of talk from everybody. I think what made it cause so much talk and discussion, um, the interview that they did, she did um, an interview where she spoke about her mental state and her mental well-being, you know, coming into the royal family, um, how it was and, you know, quite frankly, she didn't expect a lot of the backlash that she's been receiving. Um, and also he did an interview where he spoke about his relationship um, with William um, and basically he didn't say too much on it but you can pretty much um see that you know their relationship is not really what it used to be the reporter was you know asking her you know how how is her mental health because you know that's something that harry has been quite concerned about especially because it's something that his mother went through you know with the media and you know the way that she died you can really really see from the interview that is something that is he's kind of um you know he's still very much in a raw way still dealing with and you know he doesn't want to repeat of what happened to princess diana to happen to his beloved wife the reporter asked her you know how is she doing and she um you know and she said thank you you know she thanked him for asking her because nobody really asked her now I'm going to get into what really, uh, what I really want to talk about. What she has been experiencing as a new mother, as a newlywed, as a wife, um, as a new member in the royal family and as a woman of colour, you know, so she related herself to be, which, you know, she is, um, it's not being the ride that she thought it was going to be. Where I have an issue with this whole discussion is this country talks so much about mental health and I would say almost glamorizes it when it comes to men mental health not only does it take it extremely seriously but you know it's done campaigns and you hear about it every single day it's been spoken about and the minute a woman, let's just take away the fact that she's Meghan, Meghan Markle, or let's take away the fact that she's married to, you know, uh, our beloved Prince Harry, let's just take away the fact that a woman who publicly expresses that, you know, she has been going through a tough time, you know, she's been, um, you know, really, really going through it. She's dealt with so much, so to the point where, you know, she says, well, you know, there's some things that you can deal with and there's some things that, you know, is it worth dealing with? And she's talking about being part of the royal family. What I love, yeah, is how Harry is just 100% protecting his wife. He doesn't care who he's going to affect. You know, he, he doesn't care about his title, his position, or, you know, he's part of the royal. His commitment is to his family. His commitment is to his wife and child, his family now. Um, I watched a document, uh, not a documentary, an interview on this morning, and um, there was, I can't remember her name, the, um, the, the royal um, Camilla, 
Camilla, um, I can't remember her full name, sorry. And the way that she was talking, it was almost like, you know, Megan needs to just suck it up, you know. It's part of the position. It comes with the position. You either suck it up or get on with it, you know. But yet we are the same people that will sit on the same couch and sit on the same TV screen and talk about we need to do more about our mental health, you know. We need to help our nation with our mental health. Katie Hopkins? Katie Hopkins, who are you? How can the lady do a horse skit? How could you do a whole skit yet about Megan's interview? Like, you know, I don't care whether people have an issue with um, Megan and Harry going to Africa and, you know, people are saying, oh, she was pretending to stand there and listen to, you know, African um, women and, and children talk about what they're going through. Like, where's the correlation? That's what I don't understand. Number one, like, where is the correlation? I've never seen Megan to be like, oh, you know, please have pity on me, you know, feel sorry for me. They get on with they they get on with what they have to get on with. And you know, I don't know if they've got good PR. I don't know if they are doing their own thing, but what I do know is that I feel like they know their sense of purpose and they are going accordingly to what they believe their purpose is. And it's not necessarily just to um just to serve you know as royals or to serve in the royal um you know family but it's to serve the people it's to be relatable to the people it's to be humane to the people and that's what they're doing and i feel like when people are doing things here yeah, that are contrary to what is supposed to be that's when they get the most backlash i watched the documentary and to be honest i can't really see what the problem is so i don't know if anybody wants to highlight like, inform me in the comment section then please do uh, educate me because i honestly i don't see the problem like i don't see the problem like, i want a documentary you know they did what they had to do and you know she never avoided to speak to the media i think as a nation we need to think very carefully about how we do things yet we say they need to be very careful about the way that they are kind of where they're putting their feet almost like okay you guys are offending the public too much now because the public are the ones that are actually carrying you that's almost the way the public are viewing things like you're living off our money we are obligated to tell you how you should live your life the woman is a new mom the new newlyweds like where is the empathy you know where's the the compassion where's the humanity honestly i personally feel like it's because she's american yeah i feel like it's because she's american you know he didn't marry um uh a, a british girl he didn't marry an english uh english english lady but he was never going to so basically that's kind of like my take on it i hope i was kind of like making sense i'm not a, a politician you know i only know my little two pence and i like to drop in my two pence um do you drop a comment below i'll see you guys in my next video